the tales of our pal Piggly. Ireland is the world he loves so well. He wriggles out of spots and are downright sickly. How he does that, only he can tell. Piggly, Bernie, Molly, and Dan and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara or Ralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Curiosity's in a hurry, leaving no time to stop and think. The line between wild and crazy gets blurry. Gangers! The inventors of Piggly Winks. Something in the way his eyes start blazing tells us he's on to a brand new plan. His lips curl up, it's downright amazing. Looking for mischief, well, he's your man. Piggly, Fernie, Molly, and Dan, and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, Aralu, lots of excitement for everyone. Jake! go to bed just to wake up early to get in trouble or on the brink. The line between wild and crazy gets blurry. Jake! The adventures of Piggly Wings. Grandpa? Seamus. I. Uh, um. Come in, come in. Ah, oh, what's troubling you, boy? Your face is longer than a wet week. I drew this picture, Grandpa. It's not very good, huh? Did you do the best you could? Well, then, it's just fine. That's what Mom says, too. Check this out, Grandpa. Jacobs? That's a beauty shot. How come I can't draw like that? I'm just more talented than you, I guess. In art, you're more talented, Sean. But no one can write a better story than Seamus can. Yeah. We all have our special talents, you know. Your sister Meg is a whiz at maths. And your mother was a mighty fine softball player when she was your age. She still is. Oh, yeah. Each of us has things we do well and things that are not so easy for us. That's something that I had to learn the hard way. And I learned it from a donkey. You can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. That little bit of wisdom is a well-known Irish proverb. Now, who thinks they know what the proverb might mean, hmm? Uh, uh, oh, the has a great ear. <laughs> uh, anyone else? All right. Gussie. You can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. And that means that, um, <laughs> it means, um, uh, that donkeys and racehorses, uh, well, you know, um, they can't make things. Piggly? Yes, Mr. Hornsby? You can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. <laughs> sure you can. <laughs> well... That wasn't really the question, Piggly. The question is, what does the proverb mean? Oh, uh, well, I guess it means that a donkey can never run as fast as a racehorse. He's not built that way. <laughs> well thought out, Piggly, well thought out. But I don't believe it. Give it. Mm. I think you could make a donkey into a racehorse if you really wanted to. Well then, perhaps that is what you write about in your essay, hmm? Essay? I'd like all of you to write a short essay on what this proverb means to you, hmm? Oh. Oh. Two pages should do it now. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. Ugh, a two-page essay. That'll take forever to write. Not if you write big, it won't. I think I'll skip off home and start my essay right now. The sooner you start, the sooner you're finished. Ah, that's just another one of those silly proverbs. They don't really mean anything, you know. I'm telling you, they do. 
I can make a donkey into a racehorse. No, you can't. I can too. Sure, there's nothing to it. Oh, I'd sure like to see that, so I would. Okay, then. Come on and watch me turn our donkey Finnegan into the fastest racehorse in all of Tara. Well, what are we waiting for, Farney? Let's go! And this is the donkey you're going to turn into a racehorse? Ha! Not even you can do that, Higgly. Oh, I thought it was going to be so good. Hold on now. He just looks slow because he's sleeping. Wait until I wake him up and get him running. Maybe I should let him finish his farty winks first. Right. We'll wait then. Oh! He's awake! Uh-uh. If you want it, you're gonna have to run for it. Grass and the donkey gets fruit. And look at that. The chicken gets spaghetti from the earth. Earth spaghetti. Who knew? Would you look at that? I can't eat this. What if I eat him and his friends come looking for him? Worse. What if they find him? Crawl free, buddy. You know, someday I may be in trouble and that little squirmy guy might save my life. Yeah, I don't buy it either. It took a bit of work, but I finally convinced my friends to stick with me the rest of the afternoon. Dan and as usual came up with a new plan and a book. The Total Racehorse Manual. It says here that a racehorse must be fed the proper food, including plenty of oats. <laughs> oh, 
said, an overfeeding of oats can actually make an animal too frisky. I don't think that's going to be a problem here, Piggy. Uh, still, uh, I better put these oats away for today. Uh, we can give them more tomorrow, before we start his training. Oh, there you go now, Finnegan. He needs his rest now. I think I'll sing him something to help him sleep. Good idea, Fernie. Oh, hush a bye, my little donkey. Go to sleep so peacefully. In the morning you'll be rested and arrested. Need to tell you that the next morning I was ready and eager to get started on our project again. Jakers! Finnegan must have eaten all these oats. <gasps> that means he'll be full of energy and raring to go today. Oh. Oh no! I forgot! Dad has to take Finnegan out to deliver the milk! Whoa, whoa! Finnegan! Dad! Wait! Don't! Whoa! The tail! I've never seen anything like it! Oh, the oats made that old donkey run faster than any racehorse I've ever seen before or ever seen since! Like the life thing he was! Faster than light! Grandpa! Okay. Maybe not as fast as all. Dad! What is going on here, Piggly? Oh, well, you see, uh, I was doing my homework yesterday. Um? Uh, and, uh... I, I was trying to turn Finnegan into a racehorse. A racehorse? Um... Right. So I, uh, you, you know, I brushed him down and made sure he got lots of rest. And he had some extra oats. Extra oats? So, that's why he was so frisky this morning. And spent a day's worth of energy in three minutes. And now doesn't seem to want to deliver milk. Uh, sorry, Dad. Sorry is good. But someone will have to help me deliver the milk. Okay, flock, who wants oats? They give you lots of energy. Ha cha cha. Okay, forget energy. They make your wool all nice and fluffy, like mine. I don't suppose anyone cares if these oats taste incredibly delicious. I had to open my mouth. 
It was becoming obvious that we needed a bit of expert advice if we were ever going to succeed in my mission. And who knew more about horses than Farney's dad, the village blacksmith? Hola, niños. Bienvenidos. What brings you inside on a beautiful day like this? Can we ask you something, Papa, please? Por supuesto. Go right ahead. Papa used to be the blacksmith for the fastest horses in all of Spain. Well, uh, you see, we have this, uh, horse, and we want to make him run faster. This horse of yours, Piggly, does it already run fast? I wouldn't exactly use the word fast. Uh, uh, mm, or run. Or horse. You know, race horses are very well taken care of. Always well groomed and given only the finest food and freshest water. Food, fresh water, yeah. Oh. But it's also very important for a racehorse to have the right shoes. Shoes? Oh, see, si, see, si. ordinary horseshoes will not do. He must have special shoes for running. Special shoes for running. Oh. Jerry Mac, would you look at those shoes? Those shoes are definitely special. Ah, they're never gonna work. And why not? They're on the wrong feet. Oh, come on then. Let's take them out and give them a run. I guess this is what they call feeling your oats. I wonder what happens when we run out of gas. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little help here, please. Hello? Help needed here. Hello? What am I saying? They're all passed out. I'm stuck. Uh, help! Help! Watch out, Fernie. I don't want to run you over on our way out. Oh, thanks, Piggly. On your mark. Get set. Go! Oh! 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 Well, that was fun, but I think I'll just go home now and take a bath. Uh, me too, except for the bath part. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! Ah, well, that's it now. I give up on that donkey. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Jakers, look at you. You've gone and got yourself stuck in there, haven't you? <laughs> Let's get you out of there. What are we going to do with you? Give it a try! <laughs> Great job, Finnegan! <laughs> you make a lousy racehorse, but a grand hero! Come on, let's go get you some of those extra oats. Great! He gets oats? And I get nothing but a sore rub. Hey now, darling, did you get your homework done? Of course I did. But I don't think Piggly did. He was too busy working with that crazy donkey all weekend. All right, let's settle down now, everyone. <clears throat> Last Friday, I asked you all to consider the proverb, you can't make a racehorse out of a donkey. 
Oh, 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 ah, oh, oh. Yes, Gussie. I heard that Piggly Wings has some very interesting thoughts about that proverb. Grand! I'd love to hear them, Piggly. Uh, well, uh, uh, you see, uh, this weekend I uh, uh, tried to prove that the old proverb was wrong. <laughs> Shh, class! <clears throat> I see. Go on, Mr. Winks. What I learned is that no one can change a donkey into a racehorse. Not even me. And sure, why would you ever want to? Uh, donkeys are great, just the way they are. Uh, so, what does the proverb mean to you then, Piggy? Well, uh, it means we all have things we do well, and things we don't do so well. And that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Piggy. Oh, and I do well at talking, and not so well at writing. So that's why I didn't write any of this down. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it as best I can. So you see, I, I finally understood that Finnegan did well what Finnegan did well. And when it came to running, he did the best he could. And that was just fine. Of course, now, that doesn't mean Sean the artist here can't show you a few tricks to help you make your drawing a bit better. Right. Or that Seamus the writer can't help me by writing my school report. Nice try, Sean. Oh, well. It was worth the shot. Come on, Seamus. Let's go draw some more pictures. Oh.